Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm back with another set of body shop reviews. This time around I'm reviewing a couple of the white mask products. I've got the shower gel and I've got the scented body lotion. So let's get into it. So this scent has apparently been around since 1981. So it's definitely been a mainstay in uh, the body shop range. It's been around for 40 years now. Isn't that crazy that the 1980s were like 40 years ago. It's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, let's get into it. So I, first of all, I really like the packaging of the shower gel. Very simple, easy packaging. Um, whilst being quite modern at the same time, I like that they've kept it um, fairly clean in terms of the gel-like consistency. It is pretty much your typical sort of shower gel consistency you would get from any other body shop shower gel. So I appreciate that. Now, the white must scent is definitely a little bit of an old school kind of scent. You do have to like that sort of era of scent where things were a little bit more powdery. They were a little bit more feminine um, in terms of a scent. It was just a little bit more sort of a power scent, if you get what I mean. It definitely stands up and commands attention, I would say. Um, there is quite a strong floral um, undertone to this fragrance so if you're someone who's not a fan of florals you will not like it if you don't like those sort of powdery florals you will not like this scent um, yeah and the funny thing is even though it is so strong and powdery and in your face I think the reason why people still like this fragrance is because it's not super heavy at the same time I don't know how they've done it but there is a definite freshness to this fragrance as well it doesn't smell super um sort of bogged down in terms of a scent if that makes sense now i do see similarities between this and an old bulgari scent i don't believe it's available anymore i can't remember exactly what the bulgari scent's called but it used to be in a white bottle it used to be called white something i can't remember what it was called i think it was like yeah i can't remember but if you know what i'm talking about you'll know what i'm talking about in terms of similarity here um not everyone knows what I'm talking about because it's a very old Bulgari scent. I'm talking, it's not in that sort of linked chain sort of looking bottles. It is like a tall up and down bottle with a round top on it. And it is a frosted, clear like a clear frosted bottle with a little bit of a white strip down the middle. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll know. But if you don't, that's fine. But it does have that sort of linen-y soapy quality to it as well and that freshness and i think that that's what is sort of keeping it there that sort of soapiness as well that's keeping it more fresh if you get what i mean now in terms of shower gel lovely really enjoyed it um it does lose a bit of intensity um as you do use it in the shower in my personal opinion i don't feel like it's as intense as some of the other perfumed shower gels that they've come out with um, I have a feeling that they've probably kept the formula quite the same because it, it's worked all these years. Um, so why would they change it? So I have a feeling that that's where that's coming from. Overall, I do still really like this scent though. And I think it is definitely different to a lot of other offerings that a lot of places at this price range offer today. I think a lot of these types of scents are more in the high end sort of bracket, especially um in terms of department stores and things like that, that's where you would sort of buy these types of scents nowadays. So I think that this is a great option for those of you out there who might not want to spend a ton of money or you might not have that sort of money to spend on um, personal care products, which I mean, in these times, completely understandable. Um, so I do like it and I do still think it's five out of five product. It's not 100% what I look for when I go for a fragrance shower gel, but it's still working for me. And I'm still enjoying it. So, yeah, I definitely like it. Now, the scented body lotion. Um, once again, like the simplicity of the packaging. I'm going to say I'm not a huge fan of non-clear packaging in general for products. But, I mean, it's just a personal problem. It's not an, a full-on attack against a brand. Um, once again, very similar scent. I feel like this is more muted and i think that's because it is in a lotion format i don't think it's the scent itself if that makes sense i think lotions definitely sort of tone down more perfumey kind of scents i think yeah it's not over the top which i think is a really good thing um yeah once again i mean if you're especially if you're layering 
scents. You don't want to go too hard on the lotion and be too over the top. Now, in saying that, even when I used it, pretty much the same sort of result. It was very nice. The scent was still there. It was still present, but it wasn't over the top and it wasn't screaming at me, um, which is a good thing. Um, great for layering, like I said. And yeah, very similar scent to the shower gel, just less fresh, obviously, and a little bit more on that sort of creamier side in terms of a scent, but not, there's not a huge difference to it. So yeah, I would definitely rate it a five out of five as well. I feel like the lotion cons consistency was quite nice. I feel like it stayed on the skin really well. I felt like it moisturized for long enough. I mean, it was well over 12 hours, you know, I still felt quite moisturized. So yeah, I think it's a good product. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support I get here on this channel. Please stay tuned for more reviews like this. But until next time, take care and I hope to see you again. Bye for now.